and welcome to the Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen. I'm Matt Mercer, instructor for the Pathfinder School and the founder of the Black Hat Bushcraft Channel right here on YouTube. And I'm gonna go ahead and call this episode of Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen our Thanksgiving special. As today, I'm gonna to be cooking up a Thanksgiving inspired meal. And of course, this recipe was submitted to us by one of our subscribers here on the channel. And our winner's name is Luke Duchesne. Of course, for submitting this winning recipe, Luke will be receiving a prize package from Self-Reliance Outfitters that will include all of the stainless cooking gear that I used to prepare this recipe today. So I'm super excited about this one. I love Thanksgiving and I love that Thanksgiving meal. And I hope this will get us all warmed up and ready for next week when Thanksgiving gets here. I hope you guys will be eating well. In the meantime, hopefully this video will hold you over. So without any more talking, let's get started on cooking up this Thanksgiving inspired recipe right now. So the Pathfinder cooking gear that I'll be using for this meal today is the stainless steel canteen set, a stainless bowl and plate combination with a spork and I'll be using the new folding stainless steel grill. All of these are awesome items that I really enjoy cooking with when I'm out in the woods. All right, so with the stainless steel canteen set, obviously I have my canteen, and then I also have my cup, which we'll be using in a little bit. But for now, what I wanna do is get my canteen hung over the fire so we can start to boil water, and that'll help me to prepare the stuffing. To do that, I just have a simple bottle hanger which works perfect. We just spread that thing out and get it right here in the mouth of this canteen. It locks right into place, gives us a secure way to hold the canteen when it's hot and also a way to hang this thing over the fire. So I'm gonna just set that on a toggle over the fire and we'll get this water hot and get this meal underway. So I'm still working on getting this cold bed established, but it's really coming along well. Won't be long now. All right, so for a Thanksgiving style meal in the woods, this is about as simple as it can get. What I have here is just a pre-cooked, smoked piece of turkey breast and it's all sealed up tight in its own juices. This thing should be delicious just like it is. What I'm gonna do is slice that and we're gonna put it on the stainless grill over the coals, make it just a little bit better. Of course, a staple in my household when I was growing up was stovetop stuffing, and this is basically just add water, so very simple to make this stuff in the field. For gravy, I have two types. I have the McCormick powder gravy that you just add water and mix up in the pan, and then for the ultimate simplicity, you can buy Heinz home style gravy here. And you have a jar, of course, you have to carry, but the jar could be multifunctional depending on what you're doing while you're in camp. If you're in a base camp, not a big deal. Also, we have some dried cranberries or craisins as they're known, and we can add that into our stuff and rehydrate those, and that'll take the place of cranberry sauce. So just very simple ingredients that you can easily get at your local grocery store, and all this, I believe, will come together to make a delicious meal. All right, so let's go ahead and process up this turkey. What I'm gonna do is try to slice some of this off without taking it all the way out of the pack. Just kind of make it a little bit neater, keep here in camp. Of course, here comes the bugs. I'm just gonna lay it here on my plate. This stuff is so pretty, it smells delicious already. So the nice thing about this stuff is it's already pre-cooked, which means it's less likely to spoil when I bring it out. I don't have to worry as much about the refrigeration in the immediate. And then also, when I go to heat it up, I just have to cook it until it's hot all the way through for uh, my meal, rather than having to worry about actually cooking this stuff through if it were raw. So it's kind of convenient having this package this way and also knowing that it's pre-cooked. So I kind of let this fire get away from me a little bit, and that's okay, I'll build it back up and keep the coals coming, but I got a nice bed of coals right here, so I'm just gonna spread those out. So what I'm gonna do is just st set this stainless grill right here I'm gonna pull it back from the fire just a hair actually. Because this stuff is really, really hot, these coals. And it won't take much to cook this turkey. I'm gonna just lay these pieces here on the grill. And I imagine they'll cook up quite fast.
All right, so it's definitely time to flip this stuff. Oh yeah, look at them grill marks. Tell you what, this piece right here. Oh, that's hot. Whoa. Pull that thin piece back. Man, kept my hand over the fire just a little too long. Yes, sir, that's gonna be good. All right, so as you can see, my turkey is looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and take this stuff up on the plate here. Got it a little bit charred around the edges, but actually I think that looks delicious. Yeah, that's gonna be good. So I'm just gonna cover this stuff up, get the stuffing ready, and we'll be good to go. All right, so I've gone ahead and got out my canteen cup. I'm gonna get the handle set up on that. And now I'm just gonna take my stuffing and place it inside of my cup here. And I'm not going to actually measure this stuff out particularly, I'm just eyeballing it. Probably put about half the pack. And on the cup it says that I've got about 400 milliliters. You just top it right there at the 400 milliliter mark. And now I'm gonna get my water and add it to this cup. So the nice thing about this bottle holder is I can pull it right off the fire and because this is up over the canteen, it's not hot at all. Now all I have to do is just take a stick and I can easily add in my water. I'm gonna mix that in, just make sure I don't add too much. And for that purpose, I have my spork. Just mix that stuff in real good. This stuff really smells good, just like Thanksgiving at Mama's. Of course, Mama's is a little bit better. <laughs> it wouldn't be Pathfinder Outdoor Kitchen without a little sample. You know what's good. So the next step is I'm going to take some of these craisins here and I'm going to add them into this bowl. And what I'm going to do with that is just add some of this hot water and kind of let those things rehydrate a little bit just like that and then once they hydrate i'm going to put those in with the stuffing and that'll be a little bit better than just adding the dry cranberries all right so i've kept my stuff in here on this grill top just to kind of keep it warm and it is nice and warm it's not getting burnt though and i've got these cranberries that have kind of started to rehydrate there and they're kind of getting tender, so I'm going to go ahead and add some of those into the stuff in here. It looks pretty good. I'm just going to mix those in. And some people are not going to like that. I know some people are kind of funny about cranberries, but I actually love it. So, suits me well. The rest of those cranberries I'll just put on the side. So I'm just going to place the top back on this and keep it over here by the fire so it can stay warm. Last step is we need to warm up the gravy. All right, so in the interest of keeping things simple, I'm gonna go for the jar gravy. Of course, I brought the powder out, but I'm gonna actually warm this stuff up in my stainless bowl. So to keep things simple, I'm just gonna open this gravy up. And, oh man, that stuff's good. For gravy out of a jar, that's fantastic. You just empty some of that here into my bowl. And now I'm just gonna pull some coals up under this grill here, get that stuff warmed up. It's going to be Thanksgiving here in my camp. Looking forward to this. All right, so the gravy's starting to bubble just a little bit. And the one thing I think this stuff needs is just a little extra salt. Unfortunately, I carry just something for that in my pack. And always a little black pepper goes good with the gravy. Love some black pepper. Mix that stuff in. I think that's just hot enough. Oh yeah. It's time to put our plate together. All right, so this stuffing looks great. I'm gonna get some of that stuff out on my plate here. Those cranberries in there, it's gonna be awesome. I guess I don't have to save any servings for anybody else since it's just me. So now, gravy for everything. Oh man, this is going to be so good. 
Of course, a little touch of salt on top. And once again, let's hit it with that black pepper. Can't have too much black pepper for me. All right. That is how you do Thanksgiving in the woods. Oh man, it's gonna be so good. Right, so we're almost to my favorite part in the show where I get to give the meal the old taste test. But first, in the spirit of Thanksgiving, I'm going to take just a minute to give thanks indeed for this meal and for the many other blessings that I have. I hope this year at Thanksgiving that you guys will have many things to be thankful for and feel blessed as well. Let's take just a minute and give thanks. All right. You know I want to give you guys a bite. Some of that stuffing, cranberries, delicious gravy. That turkey is delicious. Let's give the stuffing and cranberries a taste. Mm. This stuff is really good. I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you it's as good as my mom makes, but for a meal cooked up quick in camp with simple ingredients, nothing wrong with this. I could eat this any day in camp. I don't know how many of you guys actually like cranberries, but that just really brings it all together because the cranberries are kind of sweet and tart, a little bit sour. And you got the saltiness and the zesty flavor of the stuffing. Comes together well. Mm. Finger looking good. All right, so I figured that's enough of me teasing you guys out here eating an early Thanksgiving dinner in the woods. In all seriousness, with this recipe, I tried to keep things very simple as that's how the recipe was submitted to us. Turkey breast, stuffing, and cranberries. That's really all uh, that Luke had sent to us, but I tried to improvise a little bit and add the gravy and some spice and things like that. But you could always improvise on your own as well and add mashed potatoes or go about making gravy in different ways, spice it up in the way that best suits you. So I hope you'll get a chance to go out in your camp and improvise with this and make something that you enjoy. Don't forget that if you have a favorite camp recipe, you should definitely send it to us to the email address listed down below. Once you submit a recipe to us, it goes into a bank of recipes that I always pull from when I go to film another episode of this show. So once you submit that, it stays in the bank until the time that I should pick that recipe. And when you win, when I pick your recipe and feature it on the show, you get a care package from Self Reliance Outfitters with all of the gear that I use to prepare your meal. So go ahead and send those over over right now and I look forward to seeing what your ideas are for our next show. So from all of us here at Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School, we would like to sincerely wish you and your family a very happy Thanksgiving and of course a holiday season to come and we look forward to talking to you with another video very soon. Until the next episode, you guys take care, be safe, I'll see you soon.